welcome, foolish mortals. And if you look at this ballast, you'll see it's rated for 40 watts. These old ones, and this one actually has a date on it from 1967. They're made for 40 watt fluorescent tubes, the F40s. But these days, most of these are actually 34 watt bulbs. And you can see the designation is 34 watt. F34, it's a 34 watt. You all may see a problem there. It's a 40 watt ballast, 34 watt bulbs. Yes, the bulbs will burn out prematurely. And you may have noticed in this video that we're about to show you, the ends of one of those bulbs are toasted black. That would be a symptom of the ballast not rated for the bulbs. Usually you might get like five years out of a fluorescent tube, but if you mismatch the bulbs in the ballast, you might get like two years out of the bulbs. And they're going to turn black like that. So it's actually a good thing that, uh, that we got the new electronic ballast for this setup. And as a matter of fact, the fact that the bulbs were mismatched for the ballast may have been the reason that this ballast did indeed go bad. The old oil-filled ballast, if you see any oil leaking from these things, immediately you know it's a bad ballast. Otherwise... The symptoms would be the bulbs aren't working, or they're flickering, or you're hearing a lot of buzzing. These are all symptoms of a bad ballast. A fluorescent fixture requires a ballast to send the proper amount of electricity to the fluorescent bulbs. The ballast provides enough voltage to start the fluorescent bulbs. And once they are started, it quickly lowers the current to produce just enough fucking electricity to produce a steady light source. Without the ballast, the fluorescent bulb would attach directly to the 120 volt house current and quickly burn out. When you hear a buzzing sound coming from your fixture, or the bulbs flicker, or they don't come on, check the ballast and check it by putting in new bulbs to see if it needs to be replaced. And should it need to be replaced, always try to get rid of these old oil filled ones and put the new electronic ones in. They're much more efficient and they're a lot quieter. Usually the best way is just to put good tubes, good known good tubes in the ballast and see if they light. I know it's obvious, but anything you could do with a test instrument, such as a multimeter, it won't stimulate the ballast under a running load. A bad ballast might give a good reading for an open circuit voltage, but the voltage might sag under load uh, enough not to drive the tube to light. Also, if electronic replacements are available, it's a good idea to replace your old magnetic balance ballast with the new electronic ones. I did so in several of these old 25, 30 year old fixtures, and even though the magnetic ballast still worked, the electronic ballast save a lot of energy. Usually the tubes are a little brighter, they're better matched for the newer bulbs that are available, the 34 watt versus the old 40 watt, they buzz a lot less or not at all, and uh, the tubes stay lit. In, in other words, when I was saying in the video how one tube will light and the other won't with these old magnetic ballasts, with the electronic ones, if one bulb burns out, the other one still stays lit with these electronic ballasts. So the fixture won't totally go out should one bulb go out. There's no more. 120 hertz flicker, that flicker that fluorescents give off, that flicker. You won't get that with the electronic. And also, since these old ballasts are all so old, it's probably a good idea just to change them anyway because they will be going sooner or later. I mean, they don't last forever. Boys and girls, hi, it's Dino the Handyman from the Handyman Zone. Real quick, you got a fluorescent fixture such as one of those, and you change the bulbs and it still doesn't work. Now this is important, you changed all the bulbs in it. Whether it's a one bulb, two bulb, four bulb fixture, don't just change that one bulb that's out, because fluorescents are weird and they're wired in pairs. So indeed you could change the one bulb that looks like it's out, 
and think the fixture doesn't work, but in reality, if you went and changed both bulbs, the fixture would be fine. So in order to test these ballast, which is the only other part in the fixture that could be bad, you have to put the all new bulbs in. So you put all new bulbs and it still doesn't work. So what you have to do then is change the ballast. This is the old ballast. Okay? And what we did was we took the screws out. Here's where the fixture was. There was uh, two screws that hold the front cover. Some of the newer ones, the front cover just kind of uh, clamps itself on. So you just kind of squeeze it and pull it off. You'll see that when you stick your nose up there. Pull the cover off. And then you look at the ballast. Now, these ballasts are available in hardware stores and home centers and stuff. But the thing is, they're very specific for the bulb size and the amount of bulbs. So this fixture takes two of those 40-watt fluorescents over there. And here's a little tip for you. You see how that one's all black at the one end? That's definitely a burnt-out bulb. That is a questionable bulb. It's not black at the end. But still, I changed both. So they're both going in the garbage. We're putting brand new bulbs. Always change all the bulbs in a fluorescent. Okay, so... This is ballast. This is a specific ballast for two 40 watt fluorescent bulbs with the two pins. Now, when you open this up, you're going to be like confronted with a whole bunch of wires. You're going to be all confused because there's like, what is this? Six, eight wires. Oh my God, there's eight wires. What do I do? It's really easy. In the fixture end, here's the fixture. There's red and there's blue. And on the new ballast, there'll be red and blue. And then on this end from the fixture, there's yellow. On the replacement ballast, there's yellow. And the black and white, as you'll see, usually go to, uh, uh, I'm sorry, always go to the house electric, the supply. And again, up in the supply, in the house, they'll be black and white. If you can see, I don't know, white and black. So colors to colors, and it's really easy, and that's it. So you got to, um, the, the replacement ballast, the ends are already stripped with a wire stripper. On the one that you're going to take out, you're just going to nip them with a wire nipper. Okay, you're going to nip them out of the old ballast. There's the nubs. You're going to nip them out. These ones you'll have to strip either with a utility knife or with a wire stripper. You'll take a half an inch off the ends with the utility knife or wire stripper. And then color to color. It doesn't matter which blue goes to which blue or which yellow goes to which yellow. Just color to color with wire nuts. I'm going to show you really quick how to pigtail. So this is the one from the fixture. And I just stripped it myself about a half an inch. This was the one from the new ballast that came already stripped. You hold them next to each other. And you take that wire nut and you... Just put on and twist it, and as you're doing this, it's going to twist that pigtail together, plus secure it with a nice connection. And um, you're going to make it like as tight as until like the wires start twisting nice and snug. If there's any bare metal showing here, you might want to put a piece of tape around it just to uh, cover that up and so it doesn't hit any others that may be sticking out. But if you only did like a half an inch and they're both even there's no reason that any bare metal should be showing and you're gonna have a good connection there all my pigtails completed I just took all the wires and bundled them together and just kind of squeeze them so they're nice and neat inside of there and we'll be able to put this back up the only ones left is a white and black which goes to the white and black up in the ceiling wire it up put your white and black back to the house electric Put the fixture back up however it went with clips or with, with bolts. This one had bolts or screws or whatever. Put your new bulbs in and you're all set. And that's how you do a ballast in a fluorescent fixture. Now see, I told you they're wired together in pairs. So you see this one's a little weird. Wait until I put the second one in and it completes the circuit. Line up them pins. That's a brand new, that's a brand new bulb, and it appears to be defective. As a matter of fact, it sounds very weird. Something cracked inside. Okay, there you go. That's another little, uh, little thing you learn in the handyman zone. A lot of these brand new bulbs, even regular Thomas Edison style bulbs or fluorescents, they're brand new. And, uh, 
They're defective right out of the factory. This interesting device changes house current, the 120 volt current, into a very high frequency. would light any fluorescent tube and light you up at the same time. But that's basically what a ballast does. It changes the house current. <laughs> I can smell the ions burning off in the air. <laughs> now, if any of you all see me jumping or jittering in this next demonstration, it's because I'm taking electricity just for you guys for this YouTube video so I'll try to remain still I'm wearing the rubber gloves to protect but still there may be microscopic holes and we are dealing with extremely high voltages up around 120,000 volts right now now y'all this is an industrial coil right here and what I'm gonna do is demonstrate how the high voltage can excite gla uh, gas inside a sealed tube to produce light So I'm going to get serious here for a second. If any of you trolls think you're going to come on my channel and I know all of this stuff is deadly, but if you're going to start with the, uh, he's a fag and don't uh, listen to the fucktard, you're going to get killed, you might as well just delete your own account because I'm going to block and delete your comments. And again, that's your high voltage. And an fluorescent tube basically uses that high voltage and excitable gas to produce light. Simple. Again, a couple of tips to just to go over again. It's really important that you change all the bulbs in the fixture. If at that point, with all new bulbs, and not like questionable bulbs that you found somewhere in the house and they look good, I'm talking new bulbs. If it still doesn't work, you gotta do the ballast. And the ballasts are very specific for the bulb size and the amount of bulbs. So the, there's a different ballast for a single bulb 40 watt fluorescent. There's a different ballast for a two bulb 40 watt fluorescent. Four bulb 40 watt fluorescents usually take two of the two bulb 40 watt ballasts. Okay? Um, and that, that's the tips I got for you. Otherwise, have fun on your project. Thanks for watching Handy Man Zone. Uh, please rate, comment, because that really helps me out with this YouTube gig. As you know, I'm a paid YouTube partner, and subscribe is the best thing you can do for me. So if I helped you out, sub, and we'll see you later, guys and girls.